Leaders are sounding off in the fight between local leaders and FEMA. In an interview you see only here on Wink News, Congressman Byron Donald says FEMA is probably right about all the unpermitted work after Ian. The same work that FEMA says led them to pull that 25% discount for flood insurance. Wink News anchor Claire Gold is in studio. Claire, what does Donald think about FEMA pulling the discount? Amanda, point blank, he thinks it is wrong. Congressman Byron Donalds believes FEMA is punishing everybody for the sins of some. Now, there is no question Hurricane Ian devastated our area. We know that the storm surged, the winds, they destroyed businesses, they took loved ones, and they took homes. Now, in the days, weeks, and the months following, people trying to rebuild their lives faced yet another headache that Donalds believes some may have chosen to avoid. Getting a permit to rebuild. In the wake of Hurricane Ian's wrath, people who came to this Fort Myers Beach Town Council meeting, who stood in line for hours at Cape Coral City Hall, said they were frustrated, confused, and angry over permits. There's so much confusion. I've been here and been 10 people back and have waited for like four hours. There's just a lot of people that don't know the process. 18 months after the storm, FEMA claims hundreds of people didn't follow the process. In my exclusive interview with Congressman Byron Donalds, he told me FEMA is probably right about that. Yes, there are people who do unpermitted work on their property. We know this exists. But. So hold everybody accountable because you had some citizens decide with their own property to put on an addition or to knock out a wall and put in windows, um, that does not warrant uh, FEMA making this, this arbitrary decision. Almost two weeks ago, FEMA announced it was taking away a 25% flood insurance discount for people in Cape Coral, Fort Myers Beach, Estero, Bonita Springs, and unincorporated Lee County. Said those areas allowed unpermitted work and didn't provide proper documentation. You're assuming that that's that 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 was uh, the the municipalities who were sanctioning un, un, unpermitted work for property owners. That's not true. After pressure from federal lawmakers like Donald's and Congressman Greg Stubbe, FEMA agreed to put its decision on a 30 day hold. This is hundreds of thousands, could be millions of dollars to individuals if they get this uh, discount removed. But Donald's told me 30 days won't cut it. I don't think it's enough at all. I think we're probably going to need more time, which is why the agency can't just drop this in our lap and walk away. You have people who are going to force them, and, and frankly, it's going to force uh, our, 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 some of our middle-income and lower-income residents to have to relocate out of the area. Now, Donald's told me he plans to meet with FEMA executives here in Southwest Florida and up in D.C. too, all in the hopes of getting FEMA to extend the 30 days so that people can get that discount. Amanda. All right.